Hey, what's going on guys? So, you know, it's Halloween time and I was really wanting to play some Sonic Adventure with that cool Halloween DLC. And, uh, you know, the timing ended up working out perfect. If you have watched uh, my videos recently, I did a review on the Striker DC Gamepad by Retro Fighters. Uh, actually, I backed that on Kickstarter. This is my Kickstarter version. Uh, I loved the controller. Um, I, I did a full review, so definitely check it out. But uh, a cool thing happened. Um, I reached out to the guys at Retro Fighters because they announced their color variants. And uh, one thing led to another, and they actually gave me all four to review. So... You know, I wanted to play some Halloween stuff anyway, so let's unbox these, check them out, check out how they look against their, their uh, regular counterparts, and let's play some uh, Sonic Adventure Halloween levels. <laughs> Hey, one thing I totally forgot <laughs> now that I'm recording this, um, I have a promo code on Castlemania Games. Now, Castlemania Games does sell these, so if you guys are interested in getting one of these for like a little bit cheaper, um, promo code PIPPIN uh, gets you 10% off. So hey, just something to think about. So the first thing I'll say is this box is actually a little bit different than the, uh, the other box I have. For the white one, it was kind of like a slide-off box. This is a smaller box, uh, just a little bit different. So it actually opens up with a tab rather than the slide off like the original, but, oh, there you go. So like before, it comes with a bunch of little goodies, some stickers, uh, some FAQ paperwork, and uh, a keychain, just like the first one, and that. So, take the controller out, and yeah, oh, that looks amazing. So it has the same exact feel of the other one, which I would hope to ex expect that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you got the buttons are responsive, has a really good um, thumbstick, like I talked about in the original review, and of course the D-pad's always felt good to me. Um, I like how the start button is real clicky. I know it's not really important, but I always thought the start button was kind of soft on the original controllers. Uh, I love the shoulder buttons are quite clicky, and then there's the triggers. I know some people have complained they don't like the trigger pull on them. Um, I actually, I, I like it a lot myself, only because... Um, I use them mostly, you know, when I, when I was testing it out, I was using it a lot for the camera and Sonic Adventure and stuff, and it felt really good. So I don't know if it's different for uh, something different, but, oh, now that's neat. <laughs> this is a different keychain than I got with the white one. Um, you know, let me check out the other controllers to see what they came with. But before we do that, let us compare it to the original. Now, this is my first time putting them side by side, obviously, because it's the first time I've opened this, but they are a slightly, slightly different color. I mean, they're the same shade, but this controller looks a little bit more um, opaque than this one. But, you know, you gotta get your matching memory cards if you're a cool guy. It doesn't look bad, obviously. It looks, looks really good, rather. Um, in fact, it, it actually kind of matches the memory card it's like the memory card doesn't match the original controller. Um, anywho, that is this set. So let's go ahead and, and now that we've unboxed this, let's compare all of the colors with their original variants. So I'm not going to lie, I definitely feel like I got this Power Ranger situation going on right now, which is awesome. Uh, one thing, it totally did kind of end up coming true. Each one of these did come with a keychain. And it's cool, they actually have them, they match the controllers. So you got like this green alligator guy, the blue dude, the ninja on the black one. Um, but yeah, I mean, they look beautiful. <laughs> they look so good with their counterparts. And one thing I'm really, really loving is the black one. So if you don't know, there's a black Dreamcast that is a is a sports edition and it had a black cable while all the other ones had gray cables. The, the black controller, also has a black cable. I thought that was amazing. Uh, also, of course, I put their matching memory cards. There's no solid black memory card. There's a smoke one, but there's no solid black memory card, but there's a solid black Game Shark, so I figured that belonged here. But yeah, these are all of the different controllers, and uh, like I said, let's get spooky with it. Let's play some Sonic Adventure and check out that cool Halloween level from the DLC. And I think I'm going to use red. Yep, red's the one. So, uh, like I said, we're in the Halloween spirit today, so I'm doing the uh, I'm doing a playthrough of the Halloween DLC 
um, for Sonic Adventure. <laughs> so if you've never seen it before, it's kind of cool. So all this DLC, you know, uh, you can't get anymore, obviously, because there's no more online version for the Dreamcast. But you can kind of uh, get a disc that has all of the info on it and put it onto your memory card to uh, check it out. So this was what would have happened way back when. So look, it's kind of cool. You walk up to the posters. It says Halloween parties, uh, party is being held at Twinkle Park now. Um, it's a neat thing. It's a, You know, they had a couple of these. They had a Christmas one. They had a few of them. And you can see there's a bunch of posters everywhere telling you to come here. Um, it's just a cool It's a cool thing. I really wanted to do it for the, for the holidays. But also, like I said, it gave me a... It really, the timing was quite perfect because I got these controllers in. I really wanted to test them out. So, um... It actually feels just as good <laughs> as the uh, previous uh, incarnation. So, I mean, I, I obviously expected that, but um, we're not going to Twinkle Circuit, we're going to Twinkle Park. Um, you know, it's... I, I love these things. Like, this is the way to play the Dreamcast. I've actually been talk. I was talking to a friend of mine who never um, had a Dreamcast, and they said their friends had them, and they didn't like them because of the controller. And I was like, well, here's your solution. <laughs> But yeah, if you've never played this before, uh, you gotta check this out. They have these cool little jack-o'-lantern guys that spin around. Uh, they say trick-or-treat, we touch them. Of course, it says trick-or-treat everywhere. It's not really a big deal. I mean, you know, DLC wasn't really a thing back in these times. But uh, this is still a cool, uh, just a cool little add-on that like did not have to exist, but does. Um, jump these guys, get in my car, my Halloween car. I forgot how to go on this thing. Hmm. Am I crazy? What am I doing here? Oh. Oh, stuck. <laughs> Alright, anyway, back to the actual game now. So, if you've never played this level of Sonic Adventure, or if you've never played Sonic Adventure, man, that sucks. But if you've never played this level in Sonic Adventure, normally it's this, this little kind of raceway track, and then this track opens up into a level. Um, like I said, they, they went ahead and added some cool little Halloween deals to it. Mostly those little Jack Lantern guys are kind of around, and also some signage um, that you've already seen and you'll see more of. But, you know... I, I am a huge fan of this game. I'm a huge fan of this level, actually. It's really fun. I like... A lot of people give this game a lot of crap because, like, it, it seemed to have too much, like, too many different things. Like, oh, there's a kart racer and a fishing minigame and a flying minigame and, and, like, a hunting thing with Knuckles. And, you know, it's like the jack-of-all-trades, master-none argument. But, you know, I think the game perfectly showcased what the Dreamcast was capable of, like, all in one game. I mean, you really got everything. And, yeah, I know that's an unpopular opinion, because, you know, a lot of people seem to like the crap on this game, but I love it <laughs> a lot. But uh, that's just me. Anyway, we are coming up to the end of the race portion of the, whoa, the level, if I don't drive off. Um, oh, no. Uh-oh. Yeah. Like a boss. Parallel park. Anywho, yeah, so look, more of those little Jack Lantern guys. We'll jump down into the stage proper. Which has you on this cool roller coaster. <laughs> it's cool, too, because the roller coaster, you kind of get to see some of these signs. They added trick-or-treat, of course, here and there. They have it in blue and orange. You know, I... I know it's just a little thing, but you gotta kind of put your mind back in, like, you know, the, the, the time this came out. Like, this was a... This is a big deal. I mean, they didn't they didn't have DLC, and then you know you could be like me and miss all the pins. But I mean, they didn't have DLC back back in these times. So like to add something to a game that already came out, like that was crazy. I mean, you know, most people when you think of DLC, uh, like your first DLC experience, it's probably Halo 2 with the map pack that you you know bought from Walmart if you remember that. Um, but you know, this was purely online, like true downloadable content. I guess, really, the map pack, you do download it off the disc, but, you know, it's, when you think downloadable content, you think off of the internet, um, and, and that's what this was, which is kind of historical, <laughs> in a way. Um, I mean, granted, of course, games, you know, that were based in the computer did that way before this, of course, but 
still, I mean, you know, other games didn't have expansions and things, but, you know, this game, it didn't, you know, there wasn't, like, a definitive edition that came out that had all this on a disc. In fact, uh, you can play, like, the Xbox Live Arcade version, or, um, even, like, the DX version that came, uh, with, um, oh no, it fell off, that came, uh, on the GameCube, and they don't have these, which is weird, because... I mean, like, this is the only way to play these is on original hardware, or on a computer, of course, because you can do anything on a computer. But, um, like, on original hardware and with, uh, you know, downloading the stuff. So, you know, it's it's a neat thing. It's a neat part of history. Uh, I'm just kind of rambling on and on. I'm actually getting near the end of the level. But, oh my god, if I don't fall off again. You know what? I got the checkpoint. Let's, uh, let's be a hero here. <laughs> fall no. off into Twinkle Park. Um, anywho, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm talking more about this DLC than the controller. If you haven't seen my review of the controller, I really do go in depth on a few different games, um, and Sonic Adventure is actually one of them. Um, but the thing I really like about this controller is I got so used to playing with the Xbox 360 controller when playing Sonic Adventure. Uh, because I played it probably the most on there. I did not have a Dreamcast growing up. My, my, one of my best friends did. And we got to play it together all the time at his house, and I played it a lot there. But when I finally got to play it for myself was on my Xbox 360. And the Xbox 360 controller, of course, is very similar to this. So playing this game with this controller really just feels like a good fit. Um, I love it. <laughs> uh, it, feels, it just feels right. It feels comfortable. And this is my favorite part of the level, the giant trick-or-treat. At the end, a whole bunch of the cool pumpkin guys, a couple little, little bomb, bomb jokers. And then, boom, trick or treat, into the stage, good to go. But, you know, this has kind of been a, a little twofer here. We have, like I said, this is the, the red Retro Fighter uh, controller. This is going to be my favorite one. Um, the red controller was always my favorite um, Dreamcast controller until I got a smoke one. And there is not a smoke Retro Fighters yet, but maybe one day. But uh, anyway, that being said... You know, this is the Retro Fighter controller. This has been the Halloween level DLC from Sonic Love Adventure 1, if you've never watch. seen it. It's really cool. And, uh, you know, thanks again for, uh, for checking this out and checking that out. Anyway, once again, those are the DC Striker controllers. I already told you in my review that I loved them. Uh, I love the color variants. You know, red is my one right now, but I'm telling you in the future, if they make a smoke, I'm getting it. Uh, like I said earlier, hey, I have a promo code on Castle, uh, CastlemaniaGames.com. It's Pippin. Uh, if you wanted to get one of these and get a discount. But hey, you know, if you're getting one of these or if you have gotten one of these, what color are you planning on getting? Classic white? One of these variants? You know, the sports one? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below because I am interested. Hey, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like videos like this, hey, subscribe, hang out, chill with us. Uh, if you felt it any kind of way, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And hey, as always, Take it easy.